16. We have select the best Lewis structure for CLCS. So something cyanide, maybe chlorine cyanide. That would probably be the name of this. Um, nonetheless, though, let's see what we can select based on this. So what I like to do is actually just draw out the, my own Lewis structure and then compare. Okay. Best Lewis. The trick here is that um, with, I guess, these type of molecules, you, what you are seeing are probably just resonance structures of, of this. So these are all technically most likely viable Lewis structures. But the best Lewis structure, we find that out by seeing which one has the least formal charge differences. We want as many formal charges of zero there. So for this, chlorine is going to contribute seven electrons, carbon four, nitrogen five. So seven plus four plus five, 16. So 16 electrons total. Carbon will go in the middle because carbon um, has the most uh, unpaired electrons. So we're going to have chlorine on one side, nitrogen on the other. Okay. And now chlorine, based on this octet rule, is sharing one of its six, I mean, one of its seven. So it's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nitrogen is right now sharing one of its five. So it'd be two, three, four, five. And carbon is sharing two of its four, so three, four. So with this, there are now four unpaired electrons to each. So what I would do actually is just throw them all into here to form two more bonds on top of each other. So that's going to end up with a triple bond. So if I were to redraw this, it would be chlorine, carbon, nitrogen. And nitrogen still has that carbon is done and the chlorine would still have this. Now, with that being said, sorry, let me just fix that up. We have in total, how many electrons? So we have eight electrons from the bonds because there's four bonds. And then we have one, two, three, four lone pairs. So that's also eight. So we do have 16. So the electrons, Perfect. Now let's see which is the best Lewis structure based on the formal charges and also following the octet rule. So chlorine, typically formal charge of zero, has three lone pairs and one bond. So that's check. Carbon has four bonds for it to be neutral, or I mean that's charge of zero, which is also what it's doing. The triple bond counts as one bond each. Now the nitrogen has one lone pair and three bonds, which is also what this nitrogen is doing because the triple bond counts as one bond each. Now, with all this being said, I just happen to draw the best Lewis structure, but I could have also drawn it like this, for example. So still eight electrons, okay? But let's look at the formal charges. Carbon stays the same because it still has four, but nitrogen now has this, two bonds and two lone pairs. It turned a bond into a lone pair. So that would actually change its formal charge to be minus one. Okay, so that's a minus one right there. And the chlorine also now has the same thing. It lost a lone pair and got turned into a bond. So that would actually mean it's plus one compared to what chlorine typically is. So although we still have a net of zero, this is still a viable Lewis structure. The issue here is that um, it now has not as many zero formal charges. It wants to be as close to zero as possible. So that's why, although this technically works, it doesn't really work in this case. So with that being said, we can look at all these answers and see which one works and doesn't. Okay, so this one for C, for example, has way too many electrons. That one just doesn't even work. Remember, we still want 16 electrons. Same thing with D if you look at it, okay? D has one, two, three, four, five, six lone pairs. That's already 12 electrons. And then we have, oh wait, no, this works. 
wow, just the electron. So all of these are possible, um, I guess. Well, I don't know about C actually. C definitely looks like it has too much because let me count out slowly just to make sure. Um, yeah, the D, if we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, okay, and then one, two, three, twelve plus six, okay, yes, that is off, that is 18. So D doesn't work because it actually has 18 electrons there, even though we only have 16 to work with. So D is incorrect. And same thing with C, because C, in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lone pairs, so that's 16 electrons already, and then two bonds, already too much. B is what I drew here, and although technically you can pass, it wouldn't be the best option. And E is just like an inverse of D, and we already discovered that D had too many electrons. So A is the only viable choice here, because this is the best Lewis structure we can draw from CLCN. The best Lewis structure is A because they obey the octet rule and the formal charge of all of them is zero. So this is correct. Now let's move on to question number 19. 